going on guys? I'm Stuart Kroll. And I'm Delroy Gill with Live Sotheby's International Realty. And we are here because we figured it's about time we deliver you guys a mid-year market update on what's going on in this crazy Denver real estate market. And why it's so crazy is because of all this weather. What's going on with the rain, the snow, the cold, the, the 85 <laughs> degree days followed by the yeah. 30 degree days. Yeah. And what that really does, guys, is delays listings from coming on market because your seller is not going to be able to get their photography done, their staging done. Things don't get done in time appropriately and it delays the process of new listings coming to market. So right now in Denver, we're actually down compared to average on both active and under contract inventory. Yeah, and, and homeowners don't, the reason we don't do photography is you don't want to have a photo shoot in the middle of May. Even though it's snowing outside, when we put that property active onto the market, it looks like your home has been active since the middle of winter. So just visually, everyone is delayed and we're hoping that the warm weather kicks in in about June or July and everyone's ready to go. Spike in the inventory, which will help out the buyers in the marketplace and keep things balanced, but um, prices are still going up. Exactly. And that's the one thing, the big takeaway here from this video as well is do not think because the weather is delaying listings that our market is still not appreciating. We are very much an appreciating marketplace. We went up four and a half percent in the month of April and we expect to continue to trend upward through the rest of the year. And in fact, this summer could be a bit more of an action-packed summer in real estate because of this delayed inventory. You might see that things are actually appreciating higher into the June, July, and August months than in years past. Um, so, still very much an active marketplace. Seven days on market is the median currently. And um, we know one thing we wanted to do with this video is give you guys a little bit of behind the scenes into how we keep up with all this crazy stuff going on in the market, how we keep up with all this data, all this stats. We have an engine behind us that keeps us informed. So let's go take a look at some of that some stuff. Behind the scenes. So one majorly important thing when keeping up with a crazy marketplace like Denver is actually understanding what's going on in all these neighborhoods. What's under contract, what's new to market, and maybe what's coming up soon to the market that not the general public even knows about. Yeah, so being able to stay on top of all of that data is key. Sometimes we have to get a little bit old school. So being the number one market shareholder in Denver, this is what we have. All of our data, contracts moving, under contracts, new listings, is tracked right here on this board so this is just this week's data these are all of our under contract properties and then these are all of our new listings so we can stay current as to what's coming on the market what has leaving the market and stay relevant to what's happening in real estate in general Hey, so to track everything that's happening on our inventory that's up for sale in the marketplace, we have ladies at the front desk who track every single showing, who vet every single buyer who's coming through the door before they show up to your home. They're kind of the gatekeepers for us of all this information, right? Because we track so many phone calls, so many walk-ins, and, and this gives us an ability to actually generate data on what neighborhoods are hot, what, what things are selling for, what buyers are active in the marketplace, and trust me, phones ringing all day long. Let's here. go and see. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you. 